But I'm, I'm, oh. What did Rain say to you? Tell uh, everyone he, watching. No. Go on. What did he say? What did no. he say to you? No. Ooh, is, was he being a naughty boy? I was going to tell you, but was, I won't anymore. Was Rain no. being a naughty boy. Was he being lewd? Mm. Mm. May maybe. Gecko and What's up with this? We're streaming. What are you Secret doing? The club. match is match is going on right now Secret as we speak. Club. Oh, there's a highly oh, competitive gaming fun. going on right here. Can you this, understand me? What? This isn't even Quake. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> what Quake? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get back again. in the game. Let's get my head in the game. Oh my goodness, there's some near Tokyo soundtrack. Wow, that's loud. Well, I mean, we got a quality that was 10 Tokyo versus soundtrack 9. In Competitive gameplay going on. It's a bit different tournament today. It's best out of 70. Alright, I'm just gonna join back on Reigns because no one's exactly. gonna watch, everyone's playing. <laughs> but we do need to record it for like after, I guess. Well, What's my ping? I mean, when you're. Oh, you're in already, but we're gonna have some high quality competitive 10 versus 9 gameplay right here, which yep. is going to be the best out of 70. So if you get your ass up and win the best out of 70, you will get a prize full of nothing, and it's really worth it. I mean, do you want to Everyone knows there's only one winner for the tournament, and that is second at match Z Z Z Z Z at cabinets. Uh, yeah, I guess. What is the actual prize for this numbers, virtuous right? tournament of yours? Nothing! No, if you, win, if you win, uh, you get a choice between either some live. Neo Tokyo Tiger Fuel I mugs or Tiger it. Fuel t-shirts. Wow. Oh, fuck, man. And the third place, third place prize is stickers. Which was, some of them were designed by Idol and some of them were designed by Rain. Like wow. upper acrylic them, stickers. Them shirts I, get high up, seriously. They're really good the, looking. I was on the impression that like the first prize would be like a night with my favorite new Tokyo player or something like that. Uh, uh, put the ball. Well, well in order to like get players, we did actually seriously. promise initially a date with Rain. <laughs> Don't make me shoot you, man. Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have joined them. Winning team. So, obviously, I have to win. <laughs> okay, <laughs> back to the prize. So, the actual. You're gonna hear you talk to you for seconds. That's the actual price. Wow. Yeah. That's really, really big going on. So, you better get. It looks like a lot of people are still in. Oh, my gosh, what out? Oh, Yo, my phone is breaking up. I just got killed by cancer. Sorry if that. Sorry. My triggering to some of our viewers, all none of our. Can someone check the stream? Because I haven't got a dual monitor setup going on here, so I have no idea if there's anyone actually watching or if it's working. Uh, I. 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 Uh, okay, let me. I have no excuse to not check. Can we just slag off Third's team in the meantime? Basically, this match was. Scheduled pretty much with no notice, but was actually then delayed even further because their team was busy playing Dota. Just oh let that, just let that sink in for a second. Does what? this team really deserve to win? Let's do they be honest. Believe, like, yeah, exactly. Do they believe that New Turkey was a dead game? Well, well it's not a matter of believing. It's just a matter of knowing as a fact that it is. <laughs> what? Well, looking here, I wrote him if he's ready soon, and he said yes. He Currently in game, Dota 2. Oh, that was I that we will see him watch out for coming D. out of that watch out for game incoming. sometime soon. But he said yes, so. Well, let's just hope that if there is a match. Thing. Wow, I shouldn't be showing any bias as a commentator, but because they haven't practiced, they might get their ass kicked. Well, Idol is going to be my next competitor, I hope, because that would be my next match. Okay. Should we find one support in the garage? Well, the, the stream's working, by the way, so I was yeah, watching it for a few uh, seconds. Not much and I can do. Okay, all one up. guy at fans, one guy at T. As someone who doesn't actually compete in the tournament himself, I do believe that this match is really going to be just between Idol and uh, Third, since they are clearly it. the most experienced players. Keevan, oh, man. Keevan. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He too. is. I do believe he is the one that's going to end up making the game. Yeah, Just like... Just having him in, in the team of Idol, was it? Yeah, because Third's yeah. team is made up of Third, who's a long-time player, and two less experienced players, whereas Idol's team has got one of his buddies, Keevan, in, who's a veteran player as well. Yeah, exactly. So I do believe that Idol clearly has the guards here. But you should have seen oh, some of Third's matches. 
oil stain that that is going down in Neo Tokyo history books, if that even means anything. As the most shit match I've Dead ever game. seen in Keep my in life. Likes to talk the game game the it was a low scoring match of about 3 0, 4 0 to Afra's team, and the whole match itself took nearly I an hour, or more than an hour actually, it took about an hour and a half. <laughs> it was awful, it was like just camp central. The third team just sat in spawn in our stain and then waited for. Afro's team to move in. Maybe heading so there was Oswald. mostly ties. Yeah. From no, maybe. And then there was my no, match against Snob. I lost okay. by one point. Okay. <gasps> that was one. Best yeah, match that was ever. Good. Maybe. That was a nice one. one. On top of the fence. Nate, watch I enjoyed my own and Doc's match. Well, Force's match. Oh. So oh. much. That was so much fun to play. And I was, yo, I was so impressed okay. by my yeah, team. Push up team. Like, holy Indeed. shit. My team, it's not the best. But they fucking played so well in that match. Yeah. Now, I'm mostly like. I don't know how. I still don't know how I got that far up against Snob. It was just the point difference. Maybe garage. I, I don't know how it worked out that well. But then I got my ass kicked against Idol. I mean, he deserved that win now. It was pretty good. So, uh, which maps will we see uh, being played? The, the, uh, today would be. Uh, let me tell you. Because I know from rain. Yep. Hang on. Let me tell. You what rain told me. Please don't wear oil stain. I will stop streaming right now if it's oil stain. Why? Because that was third match where you took an hour and a half oh no. to fucking stream. Oh no. Oh no, the door here. <laughs> but have the patience for that. Well, may maybe they have different tactics these days. Oh, maybe they, they realize that that's another winning strategy. Maybe, but they haven't really been. Playing much as a team. Yeah. Uh, man. I'm trying to find. Rain told me what map map's going. Uh, in English, can I die? What map is going to be? But, uh, if I scroll, I just see so much map talk. It's not like he's doing much at the moment, he's just waiting for third to finish his competitive Dota 2. Yeah, looks like west to northwest. Wait, is there actually side. competitive Dota 2? Oh, like, yes, there. Yeah. Like, competitive wow. matchmaking, like. Counter Strike Watch Global out, Offensive. Oh, okay. It's not very competitive. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I'm reading it out. Yeah, smoked. You really don't have to build up suspense Maybe we want with this. Support. Let it's... me draw my guess on <laughs> Just one second. Let me draw my guess on microphone, okay? Here we go. We're gonna have the match on all Oh, that's pretty good. Oh. No, you're kidding. You kidding? No, I'm not kidding. No, you kidding? Not kidding. I'm not kidding. It's Get oil fucked. stain. Get I'm, fucked. What the <laughs> fuck? It's not on my fault. This is your fault. Talk I'm to blaming me you. If you have a complaint, not to me. He told me that it's oil stain, and I'm just following orders. I'm gonna tell Rain okay. is a dumb slut right now. Okay. <laughs> oh so, so we actually we actually know one of the maps. What is going to be the next one? Just one second, whilst I act up my drumming strategy. Here we go. Next, next map is going to be. I don't fucking know because it's not nominated yet. Oh. There shit. you go. <laughs> well, ah man. Well, ma maps are ma no nominated as soon as the schedule is set, so you never know until they confirm that they play. Oh, it's yeah. just one map. Okay. Yeah, it's one map. Ah, oh, jeez, yeah, I, uh, yeah, yeah, right. One map that's out of thirteen pounds. Right. Yeah. I knew that, I just forgot. Like oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you're, you're, you're just brushing it off now. Yeah. Put that ball gag back in, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Don't make me punch it in. <laughs> just put it on Hey, I had me. nothing to do with this. I'm just streaming. <laughs> it's not like Mega's paying me vast sums of money to do this. <laughs> <laughs> One guy, he jumps in support. Wait, there, yeah? Jesus. <laughs> It's coming out of your bank account right now, just seeping out. Well, you know, I have like minus one euros in my bank account, so. Right. Two guys team, maybe one night stand. You have a job, Mega. Yeah, of course I do, man. Good. What? I'm just, I'm just saying watch good. I want to make sure Nate, I get no. paid. <laughs> one on, watch out, left side, left side, Hingy. Do you right. have a job? I mean, apart from your, you know, your job, wink wink. <laughs> Don't make more than you. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> oh man. 
That that was way too low. Yeah, hey, that... I've got my own apartment. No, here, I have so to just... pull you both Ooh, really? apart. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, where, you, where you at? Mega? Time out. Time out. What? Netherlands? Where was it? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop on over there. Get some time. Ah. Check out your. Is uh, it a nice oh, no. apartment? Ah, it's okay. Is there anywhere nice to? No. Time out. To time out. Out there. No. Time yeah, out. Yeah. Cool. Seriously. Sorry, we're just organizing a date. <laughs> <laughs> Time out, seriously. What's up? What's we have up? to remain professional. One guy, clock what? Okay. <laughs> okay, I, I quit. I Only quit. by... Clock incoming, I mean, I, I know that ball gags aren't professional, Close to me. and I keep telling you to put it back in, but it's for your own good. Right I don't want to hear you, Mega. Ball, soft. <laughs> it's for your own good. <laughs> Stop making them sounds, just keep it in. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. And you say I'm like immature? What? Man, Jesus. Yeah. It's, I don't I don't know what's going on right now. I think I we started the stream like way too early, but I hope none of this gets cut when it's put on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> mm, it's really good, it's well, fun. We have to have a good time before and after the match. Yeah, because we're definitely not going to have a good Max time exactly. during the match. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, we could talk about wine cups or something. Well, well Snala, did you see that tie? I did buy it, I bought fruit pastels. What's up? No, I, did you well, see that tie? I was in the match, well, but I wasn't really get paying prepared, attention. Get prepared for ties. You saw this tie, you're going to see a lot of ties. Oh jeez. Well, I've got a lot of beer in my fridge. So I haven't got that much, I'm running out of drinks. Whoa. No, it sucks. Well, Mega, also, you're standing right next to me. Say hello by jumping. There you go. Good job. You're following orders, that's pretty good. Now put the ball gag ah. back in for the next 10 minutes. <laughs> Not choke on it. How often do I have to tell you? How, you're not. How can you're like you not, a toddler. You're not how, learning. How can you not choke on a ball gag? I mean, I I'm not a ball gag it? expert. But Ooh, apparently, it's starting. No, no, no. How does that work? All right, it's starting. The ball gag. Oh, but to make it short, to keep, just keep the ball gag in the mouth, but not tuck it in. Just keep it so people can see it and not like hide it. But Otherwise, you'll choke on it, of course. Right. But Just, it's supposed to block any... off your mouth, not the inside of the mouth. <sighs> right. But I don't have any control over that. I mean, that's the whoever put the ball gag on to me. Right? Well, uh, I, um, depends. Well, some no, like it, it, some don't. It, it doesn't depend. It's by definition whoever put it on. Uh, uh, fine, choke on it as much as you like then. <laughs> okay. Oh jeez. So it's starting, you say. Why did I agree to this? Why did I agree to this? Well, you're the one who wanted to choke on it, not me. What? No, I mean to, to, this, to this mumble, whatever, stream thing. Well, that doesn't change. Uh, whatever. You get the Okay, so I'm in. I'm in the server in which the game will be happening, and I'm. Corgi's added me. Okay, and I'm gonna give you the deets, and I'm gonna mm. give Mega my number. Oh, oh, yes. oh no! Time, time out again. We're we're fall back into that old habit. No. I don't give a fuck. There we go. Somewhat broke. Did I send you some up, Mega? Did it work? No, no. You sent me some new pictures, but I mean, I know that, that was just cool. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> All right. You okay. Too. Cool. Gecko Exciting games abound. I'm sure there will not be a ton of camping. It's fucking oil stain, Gecko. gecko oh my god. Uh, uh. <laughs> Okay, we're live on the scene on oil stain right now. People just standing around. Rather Don't feel like you have to watch the stream or anything. Today's match, though, is brought to you by Gin Rice Lux. TGR Fuel. Nice. And, and nice TGR Fuel. And 
yeah, those two are our sponsors. So, be thankful to them. Make sure to watch the Heavy Metal Vlog on General Floods whenever it comes out, and order that shit cheap there. Oh my god. <laughs> so, uh... Alright, Idol. You're the only one so far. Ah, oh, they're coming. We're gonna spawn in a bunch of they're bots, coming, and it's yeah. gonna be you versus them. As soon? As All right. As soon. <laughs> anyway, as soon as everybody's set, I'm gonna explain the deal, and hopefully we get things moving up. Okay, Rain. Because I'm too lazy to open overlay. Do you want to do all the round stuff, or you want to make me do it? <laughs> Okay, you push the buttons and I'll talk to the people. Because I'm- I can't- at least I talk! Ugh. That's all he's fucking good for is pushing buttons. But he pushes my buttons, no. Uh, uh, oh, wow. So, today, streaming with me is producer who will be acting in as referee. And we have a special guest. Commentator. He yeah. doesn't talk a lot, keep it in mind. Mega. What? Go, go, go. <laughs> Let's put a brief background on Mega. After being freed from prison in 2010, Mega has gone, undergone fabulous rehabilitation, and he found Neo Tokyo pretty helpful for that. Right, Mega? No, well, not really, I mean... <laughs> See, no, he I says mean, yeah, yes, yeah, he's yeah, just yeah, denying yeah, totally. it right yeah, now. Yeah. How many people did Say you, something did you wrong. kill? In Neo Tokyo or in real life? No, when he went to prison. Well, it's just about the equal, actually. It's just about the same, so... So not many. <laughs> yeah. Can I... Can I... Can I ask you a personal question, though? Depends How on often the... did you drop the soap? Oh, all the time, man. I mean... Did, did you do it on accident, or did you do it on purpose? Oh, just... Just... Both, actually. Ah... Uh, I mean, so, like... so what was the pleasure in that? Well, you know, one time did this... I'm really this uncomfortable where this is going. One time this British kid first. came in to visit, and then I was like, yeah, you know what, I have uh, soap in my hands, I might as well drop it. Such a <laughs> well, so. do you have it, folks? Yep. Okay, so... A man with true honesty behind his masterful mind. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and Wait. a ball gag in his mouth. I don't have a masterful mind, man, come on. Okay, fine, you piece of shit. There we go. Okay, okay. so... Match competitors today. Idol, Keevan, Enron, which is actually the remnants of Gecko's team, which has changed completely since the start of the tournament. And then... I remember. We have, have the third team, which has MJ, Renee, and another player, I think... Tari. No, it's not Tari. Tari was on Gecko's uh, all Tari. Time. Zephyr. Um, yeah, it's also something. known as Robot something. So yeah, that, them, they're, they're the ones. But but about Gecko's team, I remember having a really hard time scheduling that first match because we had to replace two people before the match actually happened. And, and then it took me another three weeks to get a schedule up because the team in Ottawa played it again, kind of didn't, but get good. It's... And then somebody on the team disappeared again, and, and I remember... I remember having nightmares with them. It's pretty good. Me and Mega are your commentators. And Just you and Mega? Well, or producer as well, but he's a ref. Yeah. What Zuni? What, we want Zuni? rain! Is it Zuni's server? No. Then why is he here? Uh, Zuni, send, rain send Zuni the IP for the Zuni? level. Someone. Is he refing no. the ref? I, I, don't, I, don't, I never saw him as a ref, no. He's here for damage. <laughs> Quality control. Doing a shit job there. <laughs> no, I mean damage control. No quality. No qual <laughs> he's, he's, he's checking the radiation. You mean? So, Snyla. Oil Stain is characterized by its quick play and very highly fierce intense action. 
what most do you of the expect? time. What do you expect? I expect a fucking rounds. shit match. That's what I expect. I've I've had think about a bit too much to drink now. Don't don't be pessimistic. It's oil stain and it's idle as an enemy. Do you really think Idol will still will sit around not doing anything for no, like, it's I don't know how long? It's Third's team who deployed a tactic in this last match in Oil Stain, no. which he didn't leave his spawn, and because of the nature of the spawns, it's a firing range because there's two narrow entrances, doorways, into each spawn, and it just becomes a firing range. I mean, it took Afro's team like a lot of uh, grenades and sly peeking and falling back and position change up to be able to kill one or two but most of the rounds ended up in a timeout whether it was a tie or a timeout win through numbers so well if he might he might do the same tactics this time i hope he doesn't because with hindsight surely he must realize that it didn't work out for him because he lost that round correct he, he lost 4-0 like the rest yeah. of them were ties he didn't win a single match right so, with hindsight, hopefully he'll do something different. Hopefully. Even he, then? He expressed he expressed a really odd lack of faith in his team. So he yeah. kind of kept them held back. And it was a really odd thing to hear. Like, he didn't want them moving out because he thought they'd just get killed. So he just kept them in spawn and stayed with them. It was really weird. Well, you know, on the plus side, if they do end up camping, Snyla. This is going to be our longest date yet. <laughs> no! Time out! No! Let's let it happen, producer. <clears throat> anyway... So yeah. Even if, yeah. like I said, third deploys this tactic, it's idle we're talking about. He's gonna be pretty, pretty smart on how to react to it. I mean, he made it this far after all, and knowing what happened last match, I hope he reviewed it, maybe not, I'm not sure. Um, I'm pretty sure he has something to shake out of his, I don't know how you call it, leg or whatever? Some some idea. What? I didn't... Yeah, well, I agree. I, yeah. I actually... I, I just said that. Idol is not that dumb to fall for that trick, and Idol's you will find a way. Dumb. I mean, <laughs> you can't really, if the enemy team is camping this map very hardly, there's really nothing you can do, and you will end up having a lot of ties. I mean, yeah. the only thing you can maybe do is uh, try to lob in a grenade and hope that it hits someone, but other than that, really, you have no way of actually getting rid of that situation effectively. This can happen in pub play as well. I mean, Oilstone is a really old map in which it can become entrenched where each team finds it difficult to move out into the car park, which kind of becomes a no man's land where no one yeah, really exactly. wants to go. It rarely happens in pub play, maybe in smaller like 6v6, 8v8 matches. But in 3v3 it seems pretty rife. I mean, every match we've had on Oilstone it wasn't as intensely slow as Third's previous match on here, but all of the matches so far on Oilstein have been slow. Whether it was Snob's match versus someone, or Soft's match versus Afro or something, I don't know. Yeah, and I do believe that's that's a big a bit of the nature of the map, where the spawns are very very nicely laid out. And if you just hold back in the spawn far enough, then you really don't have any. You don't put yourself in a dangerous position. The mm. only way you can actually put yourself in a dangerous position is by Who's attacking. corresponding teams to form proper teams for the knife match, please. At least Rain nice. tries best. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Not even good at mashing on buttons. Hey. Oh, he's standing around. I guess he's telling them to get in. So the first round will be a knife round. Yes, please. Which join the just simply determines which team the, teams that are the victor of that wants to be in. Which would be now. So I do wish someone would going. finally pick uh, NSF when I win. I don't think that's happened I, so far, has it? 
I considered it on my last match because I kind of prefer playing Recon MSF, but my team Fart Commander, he loves the Jinrai, which is fair enough. And also, I, n I know that, like, often if you have All right. people who've played the game for a while, Keep both of them want to play Jinrai. And we are going right, live, then. I believe. I win! I win! Force. Yes? No? Yes? Force We've been live Force. for like the past, huh? like, 20 minutes. I mean, live in, in like, the ninth round. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. Is he oh, we are waiting oh, for oh. another player. So, based right. on the names of the, that, of the uh, Jiggle Force players, I don't know who is actually uh, third. Uh, is it third the is, three? is no, he's okay. the other one, the colon D. Fair enough. Yeah, okay. That's third. Jinrai, do you need any warm up? No. Who? Who? No, no warm up. Both teams. No, both teams don't need warm up. Uh, yeah, one team has already been playing uh, Dota, the other team has already been playing uh, New Tokyo up, itself, so... Your demo recording, yep, and that as soon as won't be your too great. Running, They're you already going. going. Idol's good to go. Oh, okay. Oh, hang on, let me go to reset. Strong team. That's Idol. Uh, Enron. White screen is support the player. Cameras. Strong. <laughs> Keep no, in. I don't. Recon. Nope, nope. Strong. Idol. Huh? Recon, mediocre at best. <laughs> I don't believe, I don't believe Idol it's, very much, so it's the best team here. At least as far as I know, because I don't really know the uh, third team uh, of all of the players. System. Either way, this it's might be interesting. Hopefully, I really do hope it is. Yeah. For my own sanity. So, Demos are well, running on Jinrai. It was, it was odd demo. to stream the last Oil Stain match because it was prolonged silences of like nothing happening and be like, uh, guys are just waiting again. <laughs> Kevin! Team Jiggle Force. Yes! Demos are running. Yeah, Kevin is just a brief. Alright, yes, we're just yes, waiting yes, for everything yes, to actually yes. okay. get started yes, here. Kevin just hit me. Oh, it's falling apart in the Jinrai team. Oh, there we go. Knife round is starting soon. Yep. Okay. Here yeah. we go. Okay. So, I wonder if we'll see any team kills as usual in the knife round. I'll uh, spec NSF. Oh, this might have to be a recall because one of them is uh, support. Oops. Equals D is a sport, so... Oh. Uh, new round again. Well, yeah, this let's, is going smoothly. Let's, uh, let's try again. I'll uh, spec and stuff for a bit. NSFS 3 recons, like when I'm all in. Oh, that was quite something. Whereas, Jinrai uh, team have two assaults, which gives them a, hel a health advantage in the knife round, at least. Oh, and NSF is picking up the ghost! Yeah, you can't what? actually cap in a knife round, so it might just be some kind of odd play. Yeah, I guess. Oh, and the, the ghost has been taken by Jinrai! What is this? Probably because they're throwing their weapons. Oh, so team kills. And there is the famous team kill. Idol takes down someone by himself, so it's a team kill so far. So it's three versus one right now. Yeah. Idol still has 41 HP. This is going to be very difficult for him to take. There's kind of the psychological side of the knife round as well, in which if you win that, then it can put. And that's it. You can put your team. What will they choose? What will they choose? And it's Jinrai for the Jinrai team. Right. How unexpected. What a surprise, Winrai. But the question is, will I win? Well, there's gonna be a quick restart, and then we'll see.
Sunny entered channel. I just kind of want to see the uh, player class loadouts between each one because I know Keevan and Idol play. Re the thing is, with playing too many recons in a tournament match is that it doesn't always work out. Yeah, so as far as I've seen, it seems that two assaults, one support seems to be a fairly, fairly nice uh, loadout. Yeah, and there can be occasionally a recon as well, but never more than one recon on a team. Yeah, exactly. That rarely happens. Might have happened once or twice in the past. So what was the issue then? Pardon? There's an issue with the server that Rain can't... Uh, no, it's just that uh, third has admin C all as a function enabled. Right. As so does Enron, but um, Rain is like not the server owner, so he doesn't really bother changing it. We're about to go live now that the desk cam is disabled and the max runs are set. Yep. Rain is not working with the plugin, so it takes a bit longer to set up. But it's cool we got this. Everyone's running on a decent ping as well. Most players are in US. And we'll be live in now, okay? So starting at nil nil, first to or best of seven. Or thirteen was it? I don't know. <sighs> we got over the hard 13, part. Yeah, best well, of thirteen. Man. I I wish both teams the best of luck in this and Okay. Double. Two supports on the NSF team straight away. And a recon play on Jim Ray. Third's, strange. third's been strange. given a shotgun straight away as NSF, which is really interesting, but falls prey to Keevan's trap set in the West Alley. Oilstone's all about taking that West Alley. It's a huge flank and a massive area of conflict being the major NSF. choke point. NSF is definitely holding back now, but I have to take something back. Since I lost a teammate. So now it's going to be two supports holding it strong inside their uh, south side of the map. Lots of Open supers. I might be a bit too eager there. Idle moving up quick, jumping and shooting, heading towards. And that's a support down, so it's just three versus one at the moment. A strong. And quick start, thank goodness, for the match. All three of them pile into the basement, yeah. taking down. He has really no chance there. He leaves the rat with a Half-Life 2 death sound. Yeah, I got that as well. Yeah, same. What's happened more Need frequently for support? Okay, so first round goes to Jinrai, a quick round, which is a relief. Especially for us. Shoutcasters. This hopefully will give us something else to talk about. NSF and is switching one support around towards an assault. Yep, but still and no support one con. to counter it on the Jinrai team. They seem pretty confident that they don't need to counter a support smoke. Yep. Recon on uh, NSF is moving in. Oh, no, he's holding back again. Yep, all of them go he's west. He's covering the main. The ghost is relatively close, so Jinrai might try to get it after a while. while. Third's taken his teammates. Is that a legal move? I'm not sure. On Third's part, I don't know. But he's taken a teammate's CR silence like I did in my last match. So, oh man, shit going down. Yeah, there's an actual match going on now on Isle Stain. It's a lot different to the last one. Who's winning? Isle oh. team is winning currently. Oh man. But it's just one round. You still have a so. vested interest in your team, <laughs> Gecko. No, I just don't like third. <laughs> okay, so right now we have two versus two with the captain on each team down. The support staying back on the NSF side at the northwest. Even Get flanking road east. Route. It's quite a long sightline in East Alley, and it's not great for anything for recons to take. The darkness can help, but as far as the sightline goes with SMGs, it's not always a good idea. Enron's staying solid at the crates uh, southwest of the West Corridor. Is this going to look like a tie 
which will play in the Jinrai's favor. Yeah, NSF seems fairly spread out. They don't really seem very coordinated as of yet. It's passive-aggressive oh. play, kind of. Well, they're slowly moving up towards towards the enemy. So this is going to be interesting, this one encounter here. Enron drops Enron down taking the lead. Yeah. Nice it's a pretty positioning there. It is a pretty strong position, it's those crates. Smoke is out, he's going in. Okay. He's hearing support left on the map, so he might have the advantage here. If he manages to move towards the smoke, and only in the smoke. It is remarkable. If they're smart, to they could take the ghost. I think that's what Keevan's checking out now. He's scoping out the area, I think. But no, he's heading straight for the behind of the support, and he's gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. Oh, nice flank. I feel like they would have made more out of it if they capped the ghost, because I'm pretty sure he wouldn't be able to catch up from that position. Maybe not, but that's 2-0, and that's a strong lead already. And with how it's been playing out, I wonder if NSF got anything to change, or are they going to stay with the same setup? Nope, they're moving the recon towards an assault air. And one assault moved towards support. So NSF now has two supports and one assault. This is a very significant change from the previous round. Oh, no, they're moving back towards an assault again. It's and we the pause yeah. is brought by somebody not being able to move, which is possibly third. I cannot tell by their names. It's um, not third. Third is the assault who's moving. So there's been a pause. Then I don't know who has admin C all instead then. It's not third, it's somebody else on the Jiggle Forces team. While we have this pause, once again, this match is brought to you by Jin Rice Lutz and TGR Fuel. So, uh, Snarla, what do you think of the match uh, so far? Well, it's played out against my expectation. I guess I was fairly pessimistic about what happened last match, because having to stream that was difficult. And I'm glad that it's turned into something slightly more aggressive. At the same time, I can't say I'm too surprised by the current 2-0 setup with yeah. the capabilities of each team. And Third's trying to lead his team, and he took his ZR silenced off one of his assault teammates, maybe trying to be the ace of that team, like I've been doing for mine. I've been taking weapons off my teammates as recon and playing the field and having the highest score. And I think Third wanted to try that as well for himself, considering he doesn't seem to hold much faith in his teammates. But against a team like that, it didn't, it didn't work out, I guess, as he planned. He's always been the first in his third, and it's not working out. It's it's pretty sad that he's not having much faith in teammates though, because yeah. one, it's one of the reasons why a team falls apart and why a team might fail. The team needs a good chemistry and it only comes with everybody believing in the other teammate. I do believe that's what what might give Jin Riders win, because they all probably know each other and have played with each other so many times, and they all know they are capable of actually playing this game at a highly skilled level. Yeah, it's weird, like... My team, I've, I've only, both my teammates I only really came across in the tournament, and they're both really great. They're not the strongest players, but they're nice to play with and a lot of fun. And I do kind of trust them to do their own thing when I'm playing Recon. Like, I leave it down to them. They're looking after themselves. Yeah. But for the moment, again. Third might be trying to micromanage his team. I don't know if they're using outside voice comms, but... I wonder if there's any kind of management going in within that team. I suspect there's management going on within Idol's team, because they were all on Mumble for Neo Tokyo Friday just before the match started. I'm pretty certain that they have a voice comm going on, considering they all played Dota instead of this match instantly. Yeah, that's probably going to be... yeah, exactly. So I think that's goes a good down point. And... Keevan takes down his... assailant, I think. No, Enron's killer's currently at basement stairs. Keevan's gotta be careful right here. Support missed Dodges twice. Two hits from the super. All of them pile in. Oh, he missed, he missed a lot of shots there. Yeah, but both of them managed to pile in on time. Considering yeah. it might 
be, but I don't think it was. His ping, if you look at it, it's vastly different from the rest. Yeah, he's got 200 plus ping, which is pretty unfortunate. Yep. I'm picking the super with that kind of ping. Maybe not such a great <laughs> idea. Also, if we look at the XP right now, um, Jinwa have a very significant advantage over the NSF. The NSF just don't have any XP right now. Keeping his Yen... very well. The yeah. infamous snowball effect is going on pretty yep. well right now. There'll be ghost calling now on the NS on the Jinrai team. It's Idol, I think, has picked it up. Oh, Idol, as known as a very real reliable ghost caller. Keeping Even, ghost down. Yeah, that's a shame. Idol drops the ghost and falls back a bit. He Everyone's just picked also up taking again. damage. Though at this moment in time, this could be a point in NSF here if they make a move currently. NSF is holding back a bit. They are slowly moving forwards. I'm not Third. really sure what they're actually doing. Third was running around with his knife out then, and given the shakiness oh. of... I, I was flanking, I was flanking. Oh, very nice bunny hopping around him there. This is Enron versus two players. Can he clutch it out? Yeah, uh, third was running around with his knife out and switching to the weapon as and when he needed it. And given the shaky mechanics and programming of Neo Tokyo, he can just be asking for his weapon to just misfire on him with those bugs after jumping, sprinting, switching weapon. So he's kind of showing a little amount of disregard, maybe. I don't know. You don't get a huge boost from running out with your knife out in this game because it's already cool. Yeah. It seems that uh, NSF know they are in the lead and are just falling back a bit, playing very cautiously, covering almost all of the corners. Even uh, covering the west quite carefully there. And Jinrai doesn't seem like they really want to risk this. Which, they, which is actually kind of stupid, because they really should. They should. Enron should really be moving in right now, because he knows he is going to lose this round. Yeah, a, a tie in this match would work in Jinrai's favour. All he needs to do is kill one player. If he can kill both, that would be good. Oh, the, uh, some team shooting there on the NSF side. Third down to 2 HP, but they're just going to fall back now into yep. the spawn area, I think, and not leave. Which is probably the best strategy they could pro uh, do right now. Just Enron back. has 40 seconds to make something happen. His two team teammates have got to be putting pressure on him. Uh, so pointing out that they win this round. Even oh, though he's playing against yet. Enron's temper. Enron's not going to like that. Shots fired. Oh, uh, Enron's running in. Enron's running in. He might actually kill him if he. Oh. No, he's no. checking his corners. He is playing pretty cautiously. But, oh, there you oh, go. Taking one down. Very nice. Right oh, that is words back in third space. Backfired pretty hard in that one. Oh, uh, taking he out the, the wrong corner. Maybe. And it's going to be Oh, oh, words wow. back in third space. He got it shoved back in pretty deep. <laughs> Do you now? This wow. is intense. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually some really nice uh, playing from Enron Dyer. He didn't even lose a single point of health since. He literally uh, bent the gun spiral back. A lesson learned there. Oh, Don't. We have a timeout. Don't fuck with Enron, I guess. Yeah. Another and timeout happening at yep. the same client this time. Probably some pretty big connection issues considering he had high ping as well. Is it, um, yeah. So it's third's teammate. Yep. I don't, I don't know the names because they all have so similar names, it's uh, confusing. I think it'll be Zephyr who's connecting from the UK and having these issues. Maybe so, I'm not sure. We'll see if they connect, reconnect. So it's 4 0 now in for Jinrai, clutch there by Enron. Playing aggressively. Both teams playing aggressively to an extent, but Jinrai just outplaying the NSF team. There he is again. He's coming back. So what do you think, Mega, at this point? Is it all over? Or do you think NSF are going to try something new? 
I, 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 I'm pretty sure this is all over right now. 4 0 uh, lead is a pretty strong lead. Yeah. Just look, look at the XP right now. You know, I have two sergeants and a corporal, whilst the NSF are just all privates. Unless they really step up their game right now, I don't really see them uh, having any chance of winning. Because you know Genoa is just going to camp uh, pretty hard from right now. They know they can tie all of the following games. I think th I think win. it's not in Idol's nature though to really camp. I think he's going to try, for the sake of keeping it keeping it real, he's going to stay up his successful style of play yeah. right now. It's been working out for them, and I don't think that'll change really. Yeah, you might be right because the callout that uh, Thurs did just there. Uh, it might have really aggroed Jinrai, and they might actually really go for uh, for the 7-0 instead of uh, just dying everything up. Even then, Idol has a pretty calm temper, so he might not step it up too much. Well, it's clear that Third's trying to, trying to goad them into doing something, but it's working against him right now. And well, one's doing some ghosting right now. Enron also being known as a reliable call-out person. Maybe not as reliable as Idle, because Idle is doing it way more often, but he sure knows what he's doing, knowing the positions. Yep. Third team staying kind of passively and together inside their own spawn. Yeah, that's that's a very strange smoke because it just smoked, but he actually blocked his own team. A bit there. Uh, well, his team's heading it's... east alley now, but I know where to pick that up. Third's yeah, leading Jinrai... up the charge with a super. But Jinrai have to go, so they know where they're actually going. Yeah. So that smoke was completely useless. He should have not wasted that smoke. So now both teams kind of playing passively. Knowing their locations, I think the Jinrai team might play just a game of avoidance. It'll become a game of cat and mouse if yeah. the so, team push up. Yeah, so really Kiffin is the wild card here. Because um, he's the recon, he really has the momentum in this game. So if he kills anyone on the NSF team, that that's going to be really be the victory point on this map. Idol's taking damage round. from the positions in East by 3rd, who's hiding behind some of the crates there in the darker corners of it. The support down to 18 health as well, the on the NSF. The team have casualties right now. This is pretty interesting if it's going to be a tie or a late game win. 20 seconds. Third trying to make something work in the last few seconds. It's not gonna happen. It's gonna be a tie, but ties in the tournament parameters actually work because they point to each team. So whichever team is winning will have an advantage to gain from a tie. Yep. Lots of firefights, but it ends in a tie. Any post round points here for them? Yep, third's third. pulling oh, it. Yeah. Third goes in for a post round point on Keevan, but also gets taken down by Enron. This point gave him enough gets to reach him. Corporal to know that. Yep, and Idol gets an MX silenced out of that last kill. Interesting choice, MX silence. In my and opinion, is going for the MX. The inferior weapon to the ZR silence is the MX silenced, no. but I personally prefer the MX over the ZR silenced. Actually, so, so. Uh, Surth was going for the MX, but it seems that he's reverted back to the ZR silenced. Yeah, it's a more dependable weapon, but the MX just has such high DPS. Seems that NSF might be very vulnerable to a grenade right now with our positioning. Oh, there's some calling out going on. I think third might be under the guise that he's done damage to one of the Jinrai team, in which case he'll be wrong, he might have got client side hits. But in terms of damage, everyone's on an equal playing ground still, and it's one minute into the round. Someone jumps in, I think it's Idle with an MX Silence, takes down Idle. I'm third? Not third. Zephyr. Oh. 
NSF having a look for once. Pretty interesting to watch. But team team attacking. attacking. Oh, but Skiffen might be flanking them. Oh, yes, he is. And it's Tiger. No, I don't think it will be. Keevan's a recon. And third will not be wanting this to tie, surely. Well, at least I wouldn't be if I was in his position. So he's well, going to move around slowly. So it depends if he just happens to happen yeah. upon Keevan. But the ghost is close. To third's captain, he's moving slowly towards it. Keevan might have fucked up here drastically. He doesn't move. He's yep. Yeah, his teammates. Oh, gonna, he just noticed. He just I think, noticed. Yeah, his teammates might have called it out for him or yeah. whatever. But he still needs to be quicker about it. So nah, taking a silence, picking he's up. He's not gonna make it. Oh, this is going to be pretty close. And oh, no, taking yeah. valuable point in this case. <laughs> it goes down to the Kyla. How could you know? Some more trash talking going on in the chat there. Yeah. This, I'm not this sure might if... be a turning point. If Could there be. is going to be a turning point, it has to be this. And as a ring, however, only third had to gain from that ghost cap. It worked in their favor as a win, but it didn't work in their favor as a ghost cap. It only worked in third's favor. So well, yeah, having it has pitted ZR long. Interesting. Weapon is very situational. Can be can excel in certain certain situations, but that very rarely happens. But even then, starts following the tactic of being the ace of the team, kind of. NSF also dropped the support on that team for the first time this game. Yep, Enron plays support quite frequently, and will be able to counter any support smokes on the NSF team that he comes across. Well. The SF team would be bringing any smokes this round. Oh no, none of them are supports. So it is just two assaults and one recon on the NSF team. Oh no, no is it three assaults? assaults. It's three assaults. <laughs> oh my god. Moving up into east. NSF might be taking up the ghost. Gecko and the what a game! Die out, B! No, it's not no. over. Go away. Oh. Go away. Go away. Anti sucks. Africa hero entered channel. Dead game. Gecko moved to root. What is going on? And now is everybody doing it? So, uh, both teams are being quite passive here. The NSF really has the ghost position, but they don't seem to be really taking it. They don't seem to even notice it's there, almost. Mm. Just walk right past it. Not really sure what the, what the strategy of the NSF is, except for just camping it and hoping that the other team doesn't take it. Seems that Thrill is the only one in the NSF who is really willing to uh, put his body in the firing lines, so to speak. But he does have the MX, and the other his teammates don't. Does, don't so. Idle close to east, channel. always pulling out the grenade, maybe even ready to toss it in, Help but then intercepted. Enron takes down uh, one of the NSF in the east. Oh, third. Oh, he's dead. He almost One had the kill. Three. Here comes the grenade. Oh, Keevan goes oh, down nice. to a grenade, but Idle also throws out a grenade, which doesn't catch anyone. It's two versus one at the moment. Oh, he didn't check his flanks, and that cost him his life. 5 1, a strong lead still, that four point lead. And I think soon it'll be a win, probably, for the Jinrai team. Round 8 started. Okay, so the Jinrai team have kept with their previous setup, including the Keevan with the ZR Long. And it is. NSF not fully spawned in yet. Yep. So two assaults so far on NSF, a third teammate yet to spawn in. Spawning in now. As an uh, assault as well. Smokes everywhere on the Jinrai side. Enron taking, doing shots at who? Third? I think it was third, yeah. Enron t still guarding the west. Keevan's just harassing with that. 
Let's see how long. Might be better in smaller matches, that weapon. Yeah, this seems like a really strange strategy, but he does really hold uh, his position right there. Just preventing uh, the NSF from moving up. Although the NSF can actually force it. Oh! Yeah, the NSF forced him back, and now third's got past that position he was holding. Oh, the grenade. Nice. Oh, Don't let's take this now. down. Just Enron left now, taking heavy hits. Takes Take it down to Surge. Just about 50 HP left. That's still a significant amount of health left for a support. And we're down to three now. He will be oh, killed, maybe. We'll see now. The last NSF doesn't know where the enemy is, but the Jinrai does. Oh. Enron missing a lot of shots. I think Enron was just pressuring him then, but he's lost sight of where he was. Yeah. Why exactly did he drop the gun now? I don't fully see why he would do that. I don't know, but Wait. He's, he's rushing now quick towards the ghost. He might be going for a ghost gap, but yeah, that has to be the reason why he dropped his mine. Could have done it close to the ghost, but instead he's... He might, he might he compromise his position just, now. Oh no. Oh, that was Another a really ghost cap. That was a really nice move. Although he's taking it the wrong way. Oh, why is he, why is he taking this it? Way? <laughs> what, what was that all about? <laughs> Running oh out and God. sort of in. Yep. Oh, I totally had that capture. Completely the wrong direction. Yeah. I don't think he does at 6-1. Oh, still calling for a timeout though. Yeah, Enron's having a tough time with his 414 ping. But, at this point in time, he's not doing too bad. Yeah, exactly. Using this pause to kind of advertise the sound pack that might be used in the stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. I've been using it in the stream. Yeah. If, oh, you have. If you're wondering nice. why the weapons sound completely different, producer, you want to tell them more about that? Uh, sure. I took my time working on a weapon pack that might make New Tokyo sound a bit more powerful for the guns the way they should sound because they've used. For, for example, take the setter along, it sounds pretty not intimidating at sounds all when you shoot it. Now it sounds powerful, or the SRS, when shot at, sounds intimidating. More intimidating than the SRS sound originally does, because it just felt long, way too long, and slow. While oh, the new one just blasts out. As far as the new sounds go, they've been checked up against the old sounds, and they don't actually change their... Um, audible range at all, so it's completely fair as well, you can use them with no worries. The only thing is getting used to them. It's ca kind of odd, but I've been keeping up with them. And well, I really like them, and it's been... It's nice to have that luxury of choice of between picking from the old sounds and the new sounds. So, check out the A&P thread, it's basically at the top, right below the pin threads. Download it, look at the video to see if you like it or not, enjoy. Where did you uh, source the sounds for that sound pack from? Um, all over the place. There was lots of research did to find the right sounds. Okay, so the match yeah, is back okay. on now. What do we got? Three assaults on the Jinrai team? No, two assaults and one recon. Keevan's keeping his recon. Now, one, two, three assaults still on NSF. Keevan uh, dropped the CR low and went for the CR uh, carbine. I personally can't use the ZR Carbine because I'm too used to using suppressed weapons, but he does do some pretty magical stuff with it. It's not too different to the G-Scope, but it does a little bit more damage, and I think it might have a bit of a higher fire rate. I don't know. I am personally more effective with it, so... Oh, but keep it goes down! Yeah, and oh. um, Third manages to flank past his two teammates nice. into the West Alley and take him down. Oh, team kill! That what? is a weird team kill. Dennis. That is strange. He the might team's integrity is falling apart more and more as this game progresses. Oh, jeez. Idle oh. taking the winning point after this really weird incident jeez. happening. This is what a lack of practice can do. Yeah. With this really weird outcome at the, la at the last round, Jinrai leaves the game 7-1. And there we go, people. There we go. Third leave straight back on to 
Dota probably. Uh, if you were even watching the stream, you'll be able to catch it later on on YouTube. For now, I guess it's back to Reigns for rest of the Tokyo Friday. I might <laughs> keep up the stream and talk to Idle a little bit inside the main channel. Thank you for watching so far. This was a very interesting match. And a really weird one as well. Actually, it wasn't very interesting. It was just pretty much a steamroll, really. As we well, actually expected. Some weird it things was, did happen. It was interesting in the in the way of the things that happened, but it was not interesting with the outcome. That's yeah, exactly. that's kind of that's kind of true. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, looking at certain team having the integrity to be pretty stable at the beginning, idle falling a pound. Actually, no. Idle yeah. Recording. Well, it's staying here. So idle. Good game. Good win. Xian entered channel. Bit different Hang to before. Nick <laughs> that was. W Actually, that was a really bizarre match. Like some weird yeah, things did happen. We were hoping yeah. for better. We were. Um, they surprised us with that last maneuver to yeah. get, get down middle. And then there like, was, I was watching that. Surprisingly good plan. Mm, if I had stayed there, I might have been able to take it out. Like, you said he's behind me. I'm no like, oh, it must be a recon. I turn around and see a freaking assault behind me. Yeah. I was so surprised. Alright, I'm going to lay out best round from that match for me was after third. Trash talking Enron and Enron going yeah. into oh, yes. the clutch, <laughs> and that was I was brilliant. very happy with that. That was a nice move, yeah. That was great. Yeah, see, the funny thing is, if he hadn't said anything, I would assume they're still camping where I was. <laughs> I but the moment he said that, as soon as he said treated. something, like mm -hmm. some people, I mean, I know I wouldn't as well, Enron. But if if some people were trash talked, they'd probably take the high ground and think, no, I'm not gonna go for that. But <laughs> I think like right. I would have done. As well, I would have just gone fuck this <laughs> and just gone yeah. straight at them. But it was a it was an odd match. Team kills on team attacking as well. Rife on the NSF team. I guess that's what a lack of uh, practice can do if you're playing Dota right before <laughs> playing this. <Yeah. laughs> so I don't know. That'll teach him. It's not. Too, it was all Dota. It's not. Meter yeah, let's just feed. blame Dota. It's still kind of bizarre that they did that. I mean, mm. you know, a tournament match is coming up, and then you just end up playing Dota instead. Which is a I don't think they care. Game. They didn't. They didn't care. So we're just gonna move on. Yeah, and Idol is me yeah. next. Idol. I know. Pretty hey, fun. how you doing, buddy? <laughs> also, doing? as a as a kind of off-topic question, where did everybody go? The server swept empty. I guess people are actually watching the fucking stream. Wow. <laughs> yeah, back oh, I'm not waiting for that. Uh, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> they were able to get the entire Dota community to watch. Oh my goodness. They're such oh, a great oh. guy. 900,000 views on the <laughs> Dota. On Poxy Old Neo Tokyo. But yeah, next match will be me against Idol's team. Yeah. That'll be good, I'm looking forward to that. I kind we of get this. That's gonna be on. Uh, not yet, we need to put in our map nominations and hopefully it'll be either happening next weekend or the weekend after. That's the idea, at least. So I guess we'll both get our map nominations to rain. And I'll All right. In the next yeah, that's week. That you know what the most heart wrenching, or rather heart wracking, everybody uh, left was? as we joined. I was sold. It sucked life out of the server. This might be dead end Friday. Yeah. No, it dead game. What's that, and run? Uh, when I started the lag as support there at the end, and uh, third's teammate grabbed the ghost, but he ran the wrong way. Oh my god. Yeah. I thought for sure he was going to cap it, and <laughs> me lagging with a hard thing would never have caught him. Yeah. That ghost cap they did was pretty good. The, oh, yeah. the first ghost cap, yeah, I thought they were going to do off. it again. Did, did the ghost spawn there? Like, did it really spawn that close to their cap? Yeah, it's oil stain. I mean, it's What's one of those cap zones where... I mean, I don't personally it's ridiculous, agree. like, they could have just grabbed the ghost right at the beginning and capped immediately. I don't personally agree yeah. with any map that has too many cap opportunities which are less than 10 meters away from the cap zone. Yeah. I think that's pretty bad, but thankfully Oilstain only has one of those. I mean, uh, there are some maps which have more than one. But I kind of, as far as te third Steam's attitude goes, I kind of got the same impression from Salford Steam. I don't think... Some teams seem to be pretty disheartened when they reach the loser's bracket and seem to just give up or not uh -huh. really see the point. And it's, it's a shame, like, I kind of hope that wouldn't happen. I mean, I know Gecko, one of the reasons why he wasn't so interested in continuing the tournament with your team idol was because 
didn't seem too bothered for playing in the loser bracket. Right. Maybe Terry had the same mentality, I'm not sure. You can see yeah, why, but the, like, the loser's bracket plays the winner's bracket. Yeah, that's that's the thing for me and my team. Like, after our pretty crushing first match defeat from Stealth, we were like, we can totally bring this back. And I think for the most part we have. And I think as well, your team as well, Idol, despite having a complete player change, you are bringing things back. We're the, uh, the Jinrai Sluts Chameleon team. <laughs> yeah. So, we'll see how it goes in the next match, hopefully it'll be. A little closer All than this right. match just gone. And I think I'm gonna close up the stream now and see if we can get NT Friday revived because it's died. Yes, yes. Right, okay. So Let's thanks for watching. That. This will be up GG. on YouTube in a few Thank you, Ken. It'll be up on YouTube in a few days, you can watch it there later on.